Hello, everybody. Yes, here we are. Mr. Captain Chris Johnson and Marty DeGarmo. It is the 5th of July, the day after fireworks day. Barbecue extravaganza, usually. Okay. Um, what I was thinking about, you know, the beauty of um, on passive, when it gets rocking and rolling and, be, and and automated, how powerful one statement that I've heard a long time ago by Mr. Warren Buffett was, until you find a way to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you're dead. And I believe that. And I was looking at, uh, there's a few th there's many things in Unpass that just blows me away. The concept is, uh, I've never seen anything like it. It's a dream come true for me, uh, especially working online for a long, long time. Meeting a lot of people, seeing the, the corruption in, in online marketing, uh, the little tricks that people play. And, and the sad thing is when you hear about these little tricks that are gimmicks, it's taking advantage of people because consumer are people. I mean, it's nice to put a label because it doesn't make it personal, but it is, it is, it's people. Anyway, I was looking at, I was just messing around with some numbers and I was thinking, if you made $10 an hour, just ten dollars an hour work a 40-hour work week you make four hundred dollars a week which comes to twelve hundred dollars a month 52 weeks a year it's twenty thousand eight hundred dollars and i'm thinking you, you think about it while you work that's eight hours of your time times 40. now on saturday and sunday you're not making any money or whatever days off you have the hours that you're home, you know, you, you, you work, you mess around a couple hours, and next thing you know, you sleep six to eight hours, you're back at work. But you're only getting paid for the time you put in, the time you clock in, the time you clock out. Example. Now imagine just $10 an hour, but it was through on passive. Everything I'm telling you is hypothetical, okay? but I just want you to look at the difference. Let's just say through commissions average, you make $10 an hour. Now here's the difference. You're getting paid 24 hours a day, which is 168 hours a week. Now that same $10 you made in 40 hours, now you're gonna make it in 168 hours. That comes out to $1,680 a week, okay? Where before you made 400. Now imagine a month when you made 1,200, $10 an hour, and now you're making $10 an hour, but you're, you're getting paid for every hour. That's $6,720 a month. That's massive. A lot of people don't make that. I'm just talking U.S. right now. I'm just talking U.S. right now. Now, yearly, getting paid every hour $10 an hour, you're going to make $87,360 a year. A year. $87,360 if you just make $10 an hour. And this is all hypothetical. And this could happen. I believe this without a date. I think it could be bigger and even better. That's why I talk about walk, crawl, walk, run, soar. Whatever you can do, little things to get it moving forward. And I'm not talking about marketing. I have to say that every time. I'm not saying marketing. There's ways to leverage what you're doing. The average income, household income, is 75 grand. Two people working. Some people working two, two jobs. Two people working two jobs. No joke. So, 
at $20,000 a year, if you just work $10 an hour, both of you need to work two jobs. No doubt about it. But if you got paid $10 an hour because you have an automated machine working with you and for you called on passive, now you're making $87,360. So you're actually, what, $12,000 more by having the money work with you and for you. That's crazy. That's crazy, crazy, crazy. Now let's say effort, you get traffic, you buy traffic, you share a little bit. I'm just saying, just saying it a little bit. And now you make $20 an hour. On a regular work week, that'd be $800 a week, $3,200 a month, $41,600 a year. So if you made $20 a year, two people need to bring income in to even be average income in the United States. But imagine making $20 an hour times 168 hours, which is every hour and while you sleep and your days off. That comes out to $174,720 a year. That's 100,000 more than the average income in the United States. 100,000 more. And by the way, automated and leveraging means at the same effort that you built this automated system using on passive to help you make 87,000 will make you 174,000. Leveraging what you do. Sharing. Using the tools purchasing traffic no joke same thing just a little leveraging the time skipping a rock across the smooth pond why do you skip a rock you want it to go as many times as you can same effort same throw same thing and unpass it that's the potential hypothetical again this is what i'm looking at and this is what i believe in fact i believe i'm downplaying what could could happen. What I believe is the possibilities is unlimited. Remember, it's unlimited. Now let me do something that's really going to blow your mind. A passive does not care. It's not alive. It does not care. It was designed with a guy with a heart like Secretariat, the horse. Go look it up. You'll see what I mean. It's three, three times the size of any other horse. Much more oxygen, much more light. Mr. Mufara built this around the globe. So imagine this. In India, the average income a year, average household income, both work and whatever, is five grand. $5,000. That's it. But because on passive is blind to who you are or what religion or whatever you're going to get the same money that i just mentioned it'll be in rupees same type of thing is is possible don't run out and say marty said you're going to make this that's foolish don't act like children this is fact though the the possibilities of being um this happening are great with unpassive if you work the system and you want to run a little bit because I care about it. I want to cut time frames like uh, uh, Mike Ellis has said at least a million times. But that same 75000 or $174,000 a year in value will go to that same family that's used to making five grand. Wrap your head around that. Wrap your head around that. And let me tell you something. This is not something else I wanted to explain. 
a lot of people aren't comfortable sharing. You know why? Because you've lost so many times. It's hard to share something in life when every time you've tried to do it, you, the people you're sharing it to got ripped off. And so did you. Of course you can't share. Call it marketing, whatever. It's not marketing, you're sharing. But when you start making, when you start becoming successful and making some type of income, your confidence level will grow. And when you share, more will say, let me take a look at that. I promise you. It's all about the approach and how you feel. They're not buying what, they're buying how you react as much as they're buying what you're saying. That's fact. Now let me move on to another country. Continent, Africa. What is it, 54 countries? I don't know. But average, the best I could figure out, and I'm probably a little high, but family income total, 9,000 a year. 9,000 a year. Now, everybody there has the same potential income is my big behind in, in the United States. Potential income, same why it's global. I'm gonna have a domain name that doesn't say USA. I'm gonna have a domain name that says, I got some great stuff, you got to buy it. And when I talk to people, I'm gonna talk like a winner. Why, why would I talk like a winner? Because I'm passive as a winner. You, you talk how you, you got to, that's why you hear Ash, work on you. I work on me every day. It's a lot of work, but people need to push and, and be uncomfortable. But the potential of what we can do or what you can do, and then imagine teaching people to do the same teaching people to do the same, guiding them. we got to stop playing this dictator. I'm a big leader, bull donkey, okay? If somebody tells you that, that means they're not. They keep asking Michael Jordan, do you think you're the best basketball player? I'm not the one to judge that. It's the people that watch me. Anyway, the point is, we are going to kick butt. And while we're kicking the butt, they're going to be happy. We're going to bring people into something that finally they can change their life. But you got to get people that follow you because of who you are. And they're not going to follow somebody that's wishy-washy. They're not. They're not going to follow somebody that sounds like Eeyore. Well, I got something I'd like to show you. I don't know how good it is, but you decide. Well, what the hell? They're gone. You might as well wipe a turd on your head. They're not, they're not going to be interested. Push it. Push it like you believe it. If you don't believe it yet, you will soon. And trust me, everybody that told you now and they're watching this, you're coming in. There's no other place to go. You're going to go to a place where people treat you fairly, where you're a human being, not a number. You're not just data. Because right now, data is money. I get it. But in this company, the data slash the money is shared. And that's powerful. Anyway, that's all I have, Chris. What do you mean that's all you have? Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> well, it was very good, actually. Uh, I could bounce quite a bit off that tell you right now it's raining here and where i'm at and that's okay uh i'm having a great time um and we're talking about making money while you sleep not just while you sleep but while you're having a great time uh and, and it's hard it's hard to understand it and people say you mean to tell me that i can go on a vacation and i'm still gonna get paid yeah when i was at work i get I can't remember how many vacations I had a year. 
but when I took a vacation, yeah, I got paid hey, for Don. it. You're a muted. Mute yourself, Marty. Oh, I'm not muted. They're not muted, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, lives. Lives with the garment was crazy. So, it's that's the thing is, if you really think about it, sitting, okay, me, you know, I love being on a boat. Sitting on a boat and making money. Not having to go to work. Making money. Uh, thank you, Gene. Yeah, I'm a little unshaven, but that's okay. That's called camping life. I love it. Um, just everything that you're doing right now, stop and think. Go through your day today, and stop to think every second, every minute, all the time. When this thing really takes off, you're going to be earning an income. And you know, we say the people that gotten a little later, it might take it might take a few seconds, it might take a few weeks. Uh, but that guy is storing up new customers. <laughs> that are going to be put on all of our teams and right there. But if you really think about a country that's making, you know, their top salary is $5,000 a year. And let's say there's, I don't know, 200 founders. We'll give an example. And all of a sudden, boom, in a year, they're making each over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Imagine the changes that's going to come in their community, uh, their country. It's going to do amazing things, okay? And we haven't even touched on Oh Bless. Uh, but the blessings are going to go out around the clock, 24 hours a day, 365. You're going to be able to do what you want. You're going to be able to enjoy what you want. The, the, press, the pressure and the stress of life will slowly disappear. And you're going to be... Uh, having fun isn't that what life's all about we know we only get one shot at life uh and giving helping laughing receiving is all great things and that's that's what a passive is gonna do there's nothing out there that's ever been created like this um it, it's it, i've used the example it's kind of like when the iphone came out uh you know the very first day there were thousands and thousands of people in new york city lined up to get that first Apple phone. I remember him showing on the news, all the people lined up. Now that's just one little city. Imagine the world when they find out that people are earning an income uh, from Unpassive. Unpassive is changing countries by helping out. Right now we got that Hurricane Baron that's just destroying everything out there and my prayers are, my prayers are going out to all you guys. Uh, but this is the stuff that a pass is going to get involved with in the future. This is my opinion of helping those communities out. Uh, rebuilding a, a whole community is it's not cheap. It's not easy. And it takes way too long. I believe on passive is going to step that up and help these people out. I see people getting eva you know evacuated because it's so bad. Uh, that's where a bless will come in, but it's also going to come in for each, from each one of us. Uh, and I, and like I said, a lot of people, when something like this happens, you're going to get a lot of marketing saying, Hey, we need to help this country out, send money here. But technically you don't really know where that money's going is a portion of it going to help. And the other portion going to go lie in someone's pocket. Well, in a passive, Oh, bless. You're not going to have to worry about that. Remember that 100%. That's a powerful number. 100% of the money will go to the charities. And as just stated many times, even if it costs us money, we're going to be there to help. Um, and you can't beat that. And, of course, someone's going to say, okay, listen, just wait and watch. You don't need to be negative about everything that's said or done. Uh, you Do you have another company that's out there saying we're going to change the world? Uh, do you have another company out there that says we want to cure homelessness? Nope. We already know how much it costs to cure homelessness. You heard Ash said it. I've read about it. I think it was like $122 billion, something like that. And it'll all go away. Okay. Uh, Ash Mafar has some amazing ideas for a bless. And then someday I'm going to share it. Someday, but not now. Because we haven't got to that point yet. I'm excited about it. Um, I can't wait for it to happen. And I know literally all of you, not just down here, but who's going to listen later on a recording, 
are waiting for that to happen. Maybe it's your community. Um, but we're going to change things. That's all you really got to think about. I don't think, see, right now, I don't I don't think about uh, the site's down. I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking of why the site is down, what this guy is actually doing that we have no idea about. That's what I'm thinking about. Do I miss OES? I want to be honest, not right now because I'm having fun. I'm on vacation, <laughs> a little vacation here. Do I get people send me messages? Oh, I'm Chris. I'm 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 just need OES. It's gonna come, but uh, go enjoy yourself a little bit. It's the holiday in America now. This Fourth of July for me just isn't one day. Uh, we actually sat around as the family and we watched the fireworks over the lake. We're leaving today to go to a bigger fireworks for tomorrow. Uh, and and it, it carries on. Listen, the 4th of July in America, and I'm preaching about America again because I love America. It goes on all summer. Uh, it really does. And then I, I think about the people that fought for all of our freedom, soldiers, um, people that just died, innocent people, all these sacrifices that were made for our freedoms. We have so many freedoms in America and in a lot of other countries because of those individuals. And then you hear like 35% of veterans in Michigan are living on the street. What the hell is wrong with that? There's so much wrong with that. And I could go into, we're giving all these countries, all these money and stuff like that. I don't necessarily, um, I don't ever knock someone trying to help, but there's countries right now that are shut off and are starving and you can't do nothing about it. And that crushes me. All right, that really does crush me. I've seen the videos. I've seen, oh my God, how can any human being let another, a child starve to death in their mother's arms? I've seen kids literally grabbing grass and mud and shoving it in their mouths because they were so hungry. These are the things that we have to change. Listen, don't rely on, uh, we're going to, we sometimes we have to rely on governments for some things, but I wouldn't rely on them for doing anything like that. You understand? We haven't had anyone that really wants to come out and say, listen, uh, instead of sending all this money over there, why don't we fix some things that we have broken over here? And a lot of Americans, they get upset about that. Uh, and I understand that. I mean, $122 billion is a lot of money. But when you have the entire world coming together to get rid of homeless, not just in America, throughout the world, teaching them, educating them. That's what Obless is. But each one of us have the ability to go out and do something for one individual or two individuals, whatever you want to do. And some of you, I understand, you don't have the funds just barely to keep your family going. All right. All that is going to change. Um, I don't, anything that negative that comes my way, and I talk about negativity because for much of my life, I listened to the negativity. I didn't think, I didn't, wasn't thinking for what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, that ain't going to happen. No, nope, never going to do it. Not an impassive. Uh, Ash Bafar and the impassive team have opened my mind up that everything's possible. We can make major changes in this world. Today, I want you to think about that. Don't think about OES is down. Think about what's the major changes in the world that you, you want to see. Uh, I don't like war. It's been around for years. I have a saying, and this is my opinion, rich men start wars, young men die in them. Okay? Uh, and the fact is, any war, millions of, of innocent people and families who are just trying to live their life, they die because they get caught in the middle of that. I want to get rid of all that. Myself, personally, I believe that war is not the answer. I believe communication. Yeah, there's some evil leaders out there. I get it. And uh, God will take care of them. Trust me. Eventually, you pray hard enough, uh, I think God will fix everything. You just got to let him do it, have God's timing and faith. Most people's faith, people don't even believe in faith anymore. I believe in a passive. I watch people's faith grow so much because they have an opportunity to be in something that's going to help change the world. Not just their lives. I think every founder knows that what's going to happen for them. Marty just gave some examples of what really is going to happen in a passive. Hypothetically possibility but we really in our hearts we already know that's going to happen uh that's some really good cha-ching there if you think about it but then again think about man i'm gonna go on a vacation this week 
and I'm still going to earn money. You didn't do that when you work. You had to work for your vacation. And then when you got finally that week that you get off, the first day, what did I tell you a long time ago? You ruin your vacation by saying, man, we only got seven more days. We got six more days. And you are you know what you got to go back to. But with that passive, you never have to go back to that. Once this thing starts, it takes off. It's there. On Look at, let's say it this way. Um, unlimited time and freedom. Unlimited freedom and time. You're not thinking about any more, but oh my God, I, go, I got to go back to that job. This is all possible through Unpassive. Uh, I've witnessed it already when we first started. Holy, I don't want to say that word right now. Holy cow. I was blown away. Wow. And I had to see it. Oh my God. And you're all going to get to see that soon. Uh, I can't give you a date. I won't give you a date. But I know it's not going to be long uh, from what Ash Bafar has told us the last couple times. But just be excited. Be ready for it. Uh, listen, having a freedom, time freedom life is pretty amazing. I'm retired, so I get to, listen, let me, let me be the uh, person that says it's pretty good life. Uh, I want I want you to wake up in the morning, throw that stupid. I don't wear watches. The only time I think about is when I got to do live or a webinar. Not thinking about time is an amazing thing in your life. Stress goes away. It really does. Stress just flows out of you. It's gone when you stop worrying about the clock. Why do I say that? Because your whole life is, is wrapped around a clock. I got to be to work. Oh, I get to leave work. Oh, I got to be at this meeting over here. Oh, I got a doctor's appointment. What time is it? When you throw your watch away, when you throw those things away, you're welcome to the world of impassive. That's the impassive world. Now, is time important? Yeah, because we only got a little bit of time in this life. You never know. I never know. I want to live forever. Am I going to be able to live forever? No, no. Uh, was I screaming and crying as I was working my life away 32, over 40 years for my life, like most of you, I didn't like it. I know you didn't like it. I know you still don't like it. I talked to some people that are in their seventies that are still working every single day. Galen, Galen, you know, I'm talking about you, Chris. I don't want to do this anymore. I know I said that for 32 years, but know this, that a change is coming. Uh, it's going to be the best change in your life. You're going to be able to share it with other people. You're going to be able to change people's lives. Maybe it's only one individual, but you already know who that individual. Every one of you have someone in your head, man, I really want to help them out. Whether they're a veteran or or they're a senior citizen struggling. Uh, life isn't always easy. Life is not always easy, but with a passive, it's going to get a lot easier. Um and let me see something because I don't want to forget this. Happy birthday to Donna Ferguson. Uh, I can't say this. Uh, Fuku Kumbia Exong, uh, Nazam Rajat, Steve Rock, Karen Ajikam, Tim Betcher, Joni Chowdhury, Mark Yetta, and Van Pam. Happy birthday to you. Again, I'm saying all kind of prayers for uh, this people. And listen, I'm praying for everybody. Whether you're in a storm or you're in the middle of a war, uh, we're in every country. So I'm praying for you no matter what. Every morning, every night, uh, I do it during the day because I believe in it. Um, and actually, if I can, Raphael Jermaine shared a beautiful, uh, a beautiful prayer today. He posted it on his Facebook. I read it. Let me read it to you real quick. I'm sorry if it offends you, but I don't want to offend you. Just, just listen. Giving thanks to God for another day of life. My prayer is that you had a good night. Choose to be happy. Life is precious. Smile, laugh. Don't get worked up about situations that you can't control. Enjoy what's in front of you. Surround yourself with good vibes. Do your best to avoid the negative energy. Let's continue to lift up each other in prayer. God bless. Love always. Raphael, that was a beautiful prayer. That prayer goes out to all of you. From Raphael, I just like seeing some good ones and I read them out. This is Unpassive. Unpassive has brought this world together, not only through prayer, but through positive, through great 
energies, however you want to feel about it. We are here. We're not going away. Uh, we're, the, we're real. Whether people believe it or not, we're real. And uh, we're going to change lives. Marty DeGarmo, back to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fantastic, Chris. Yes, we are real scary, isn't it? Yeah. And we even uh, produce children. Anyway, thank you, everybody, for being here. We did it in 30 minutes. I try to cut it back. Uh, short and sweet. You got a long, You got a day ahead of you. I hope we made an impact. I hope we get people to think, inspire. Uh, I believe in you. And I'm going to believe in you until you do. That's my job. That's what I feel like. That's what I'm here for. I love it. 560 people today because Chris is here. And I think it's the Scruffy look, the, the Grizzly Adams look. Yeah, I know. I know all the women are going crazy. And the guys are going, man, I wish I could. No, not really. I, I've gone too far. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. And thank you very much.